Recognizing an object's material can inform a robot on the object's durability or appropriate use. In this work, we explore a technique for robots to estimate the materials of objects using spectroscopy. Spectroscopy provides several benefits for material recognition. For instance, spectrometers do not require direct contact with an object. They provide fast response times and accurate measurements with low noise. We present and analyze a dataset of 10,000 spectral measurements collected from an idealized robotic platform that interacted with 50 objects from five material categories. We compare two commercially available handheld microspectrometers for material inference. The Lumini operates over the entire visible light spectrum, whereas the SIO senses only near-infrared wavelengths. For each of the 50 objects, we use a linearly actuated robot to collect 100 spectral samples from both sensors across various locations along an object's surface. These linear motions promote quick and repeatable data collection, and they allow us to characterize the achievable performance when the sensors operate in best-case scenarios. To infer material properties, we train a fully connected neural network model. The model takes as input a spectral measurement from one of the two spectrometers and outputs a material class label for the sensed object. Finally, we demonstrate how a PR2 mobile manipulator can leverage spectroscopy to accurately estimate the materials of everyday objects. The robot performed 10 interactions with each of the 25 household objects, including bottles, bowls, paper products, and clothing garments. When using a model trained on Lumini measurements from the idealized robotic platform, the PR2 achieved an accuracy of only 34.8% when estimating the materials of these everyday objects. Measurements from the Lumini spectrometer are noticeably impacted by environmental lighting, especially for objects with curved surfaces such as bowls which reflect environmental light into the sensor aperture. However, with measurements from the SIR sensor, the PR2 was able to estimate the materials of these 25 everyday objects with 81.6% accuracy. These results suggest that near-infrared spectral measurements are robust to changes in both object shapes and robotic platforms. In addition, these results remain competitive with that of many haptic sensing approaches. Through this work, we have demonstrated that spectroscopy presents a reliable and effective way for robots to infer the material properties of everyday objects found in household environments.